I would say that this is going to be a far more challenging exercise than the Lawi way. There's no ways we can perform a traditional elephant capture here like we do with the savannah elephants. I don't want to say it'll be impossible to do, but thick and penetrable jungle. Here you literally got to open an entire forest. Over. The primary forest canopy is 60 meters high. It makes it impossible to operate with a helicopter. It's going to be a mammoth task. You're dealing with a dangerous animal. Those elephants are silent and you can literally take a corner and walk into one of those and that is where the injuries and deaths will, will occur from. He's a little bit aggressive. Here's a cough, here's a cough. The infrastructure in the country is horrendous. The roads are in a state of disrepair second to none. Potholes the size of buses. And, and they're undulating and corrugated. So straight away I'm thinking we can't use a big low bed truck which is actually the ideal thing to transport. You must remember when the truck's loaded with elephants the centre of gravity is way higher than a normal truck. It's 10,000 kilometers from South Africa at least. You're going to have to traverse the continent in order to, to move that equipment in. This by far will be the most difficult project that, uh, that we will have to tackle. It requires a lot of lateral thinking, different ways of doing things. We're going to have to come up with some very novel ideas. So it's fraught with risks from start to finish. One of the things that, that you, can, you can absolutely be sure of about elephants is they go out of their way to avoid people the elephants are in a really bad space. These elephants can't get away anymore. One forgets how privileged you are to see a forest elephant. When we saw the first forest elephants a few days ago, we were humbled by the experience. Well, I was completely blown away. And it was an amazingly humbling experience to be up close and personal with those beautiful animals. The unfortunate reality for forest elephants throughout the continent is that more than 80% of their original forest habitat has been encroached over the years. The latest estimates that have come out uh, have indicated that there's less than 2,000 elephants left in Cote d'Ivoire. So although is, there is welfare, we cannot forget about the conservation consequences of doing this. And, and we need to ensure that where those elephants go to adds benefit to that environment and does not take away from it. Uh, they came right out the forest to probably 10 or 15 meters away from us and it was a it was a moment we'll never forget. I think the alarming thing for me is that there are just so many areas like this now in Africa where elephants are being pressurized out of their own, own home ranges and it's I keep asking myself the question is when does the world stand up and uh, ensure that we have protected areas that are actually protected. We watch our natural habitat disappear in front of our eyes on a daily basis. And I always hope that an, an exercise or a project like this creates some awareness somewhere in the world that might, that might trigger a cascade of events that enables us to protect another, another valuable piece of natural habitat. It's, it's heart-wrenching to see these areas just decimated. And more often than not, that the elephants end up being the culprit and that's not the case, that's not the case at all. <laughs>